Merry Christmas, everybody, or should I say Season's Creepings, Merry Gothmas, whatever you would like to be greeted with. Hello. Whatever you would like to be greeted with, I'm so happy to have you here on this holiday. <laughs> Just wanted to say a quick thank you for taking the time to spend it with me today. I hope you're having a great holiday today and you're able to spend it with at least someone, whether it's via Zoom, in person, whatever is the safest for your particular predicament you're in. No one should be alone on Christmas. So today I am taking you all around my apartment and showing you how I decorated it this year for Christmas. I'm feeling super festive today with having my apartment completely decorated. I got these cute little <laughs> deer antlers on. They came for free with this sweater I got off of Foxblood. Sorry, I keep bumping my tree. But they came with this sweater I got. Oh my god. Calm down. They came with this sweater I got from Foxblood. I ended up getting it. They only had an extra small left, so it does fit. It's just not as baggy and oversized as I would have liked it, but I figured having it in a size that I can wear is better than not having it at all. So originally I was going to do a decorate for Christmas with me video. However, quite frankly, I just ran out of time. Hopefully next year I'll do a bit better at making more time so that way I can actually decorate with you guys because I do think that is a lot of fun to decorate with people and see how they decide to do things but I also love a good old apartment or house tour so honestly I cannot wait to show you what I did. If you would like some more holiday content I'll make a playlist and link it down below in case you wanted to see all the holiday goodness I did this year. And I will note before we go into the apartment tour that I filmed this yesterday and you'll see some clips where I don't wear any makeup. Apologies for that, I wanted to give my little face a break and really go all out on Christmas, which I think I did. Here is my holiday makeup today. Uh, this lipstick is from Baby Bat Beauty and then I just applied some gold-ish eyeshadow to it to give it a little bit of a shimmery, a shimmery look. And then with my eyes, I used the old Kat Von D palette because uh, I don't know what expiration dates mean and so I'm still using it. <laughs> then on top of the eyeshadow, I used the wonderful Glam Goth Beauty. I used her Diamond Primer, which 10 out of 10, if you're looking for a good glitter primer, that one is the best I've ever encountered. It really does stick the glitter on tremendously. Wow, there's a lot of geese flying by right now. Six. Let's go ahead and jump into my apartment tour, Christmas edition. So I figured we'd start at the entrance of my apartment. So this is the wreath I made this year in my dark aesthetic DIY wreath video. If you haven't seen that and you want to see how I made it, I'll link it in the cards above as well as down below. But besides that, we have an IKEA doormat. I have this shelf by the front door. Ideally, I would have liked to have decorated this as well with Christmas items, but I actually ran out. Of Christmas items. I guess I didn't have that many, so maybe next year this will be a goal of mine to decorate this little shelf for Christmas. Then if we go towards where the bedrooms are, I actually decided to keep out this tree that I got from Home Goods. It's by Martha Stewart, and this is what I did to make it Christmassy. I'll show you guys up close. So on my little bats, I added little Santa hats. I think this is so cute, and I didn't really know what to do with these little wreaths I got from Target, and then I thought these would be a better fit, darling, on this tree. So that's what I did. I love it. I think it's so cute. Honestly, I'm actually pretty proud of myself with this little tree idea. I definitely took it from being a Halloween tree into making it Christmassy. This direction is the guest bedroom. I really didn't do a whole lot in here. So I decided to frame this Christmas card I made. It's actually a little ghost decorating his tombstone for Christmas. I just thought it looked adorable in this frame. And I wanted to do something in this bathroom, so I added this in here. And then I also added this soap dispenser I got from Home Goods. Here's the guest bathroom. Only two things I added in here, but hopefully it'll make someone smile when they come in. So if you guys are interested, these are actually Christmas cards that I made to put up on my Etsy page. My Etsy page is Batty Fang Oddities. I'll leave a link down below. I normally do, but if you guys are interested in buying Christmas cards, it's a little late this year, but maybe if you want to stock up for next year, I'll make sure to leave a link to them down below for you guys. I have this version, and then I'll show you what the other card version I have on the website, but they kind of go together, so I'll show you that once we get to it in the video. Let's go ahead and make our way to the next room in the apartment that I decorated. <gasps> Edgar, whoa, well, bye! So the next room I'm going to take you guys in to show you my Christmas decor is actually my living room. This is the place where I am the most excited with how it turned out. I think it is so cute. 
sorry I look like trash today, but I had to tell you guys I was just <laughs> I would tell you guys I was just taking photos uh, of my living room to post on Instagram and the weirdest thing just happened and now I'm like kind of freaked out. I'll show you two different photos. One photo is like a normal photo where like nothing's wrong with it and then I'll show you this other photo <laughs> that looks freaking scary and now I'm scared to make eye contact with the ghost for I feel like it'll steal my soul. So here is the normal photo and then here is the weird glitch photo. I have no idea what was wrong with it. I will mention that right before I took this photo, I saw like a huge thing of dust before taking it and now I feel like what if it was an orb and what if now I'm haunted by watching Too Many Spirits with Ryan and Shane. <laughs> Back to the <laughs> Gothmas apartment tour. So here is my goth mystery. If you're interested in seeing how I did this tree, this is actually the video I made before this one called uh, decorate my vampire tree with me or something like that video so I'll make sure to link it in the cards well down below if you're interested in seeing how this tree was made. So to go with the color scheme of my goth mystery here I decided to go with a red black and white theme and then right now on the TV I have this Harry Potter ASMR or ambiance video. I really like it I like how it's snowing and then it does play Harry Potter music Obviously, I have that turned off right now because you girls don't want a copyright strike. Then on the mantle, we'll come a little closer here. I just decorated it with a variety of little houses and trees. I thought it would be pretty cute to mimic the stocking holders I made last year. So I actually wanted to make different stockings to go with the stocking holders, but alas, I ran out of time. So that'll probably be a next year endeavor or if I get time at the end of this year I might just make them have them ready to go for next year and then I think my little bat lights are running out of battery but you can see they are a nice red color to go with the mantle so then to go also on the mantle I put on my spider web mantle scarf I had extra of this red ribbon mesh scarf stuff that I used on the tree so I decided to use the rest of it on the mantle as I thought I would bring in tree and the mantle together well and I have a little adorable ghost candle here and then these houses I got from Target I spray painted both these trees as well as these houses because they originally this like brushed silver color I don't really know what you want to call it like a hammered silver maybe so I'll show you a clip of me attempting to open up the spray paint bottle I don't know why that was so hard but I felt really embarrassed and Apparently they are child proof as well as Rachel proof because it took me like five minutes to try to open up the stupid can. On either side of my stocking holders I made last year, I decided to put these really really cute white trees. I ended up painting the base black. It was like a natural wood color but I didn't really like that so I attempted to paint them black. It's not perfect. As you can see it kind of got on the white felt a bit but if you don't look real close, you'll never know. Here are my stocking holders. I love them. I think they're so cute. Then in between there was like an awkward gap, so I just put this candy cane I had. So here are some more of the houses and trees I got from Target. And then we have two more of the black velvet trees I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I decided to make some bats flying up just to add some more bats <laughs> to my little mantle area. I think it just needed everything. Always could use more bats. Am I right? And then this bat garland is probably my favorite thing in the whole entire world. It makes me so happy to see them. So in order to make these Christmassy, I bought these teeny tiny hats from Hobby Lobby and I'm so happy that they fit perfectly on their heads. They're so cute and I actually didn't even need to use any pins or anything because apparently that crease right there you see on the side was enough to hold the hats on, which I was very surprised. They have not fallen off yet, so I'm feeling pretty confident about them staying on. Then down here, I kept on this mantle scarf. I feel like it was kind of bare over there, but I really don't know what to put over on that side of the fireplace, so... Aside from these bats, there's nothing down here. Then on this side, I decided to put my headless horseman and then some of those trees I spray painted. I love it, it looks like he's running through the trees, like in Sleepy Hollow. Then I put one random bat above them. Look at my cat, it looks like a giant fluff with legs, but no head. Where is your head, Edgar? 
So moving away from the mantle as well as the tree, I think the only thing left to show you is how I decorated my couches as well as my chair. So here is the chair that now I am scared of. <laughs> So I have these two pillows I got from Macy's. They normally go on our bed, but I thought they would fit better out here for right now because I feel like fuzzy items, kind of like those, as well as the blanket I got from Home Goods, just look good in the winter time. In the winter time. In the winter time. I feel like they give your room a nice, warm, cozy feel. So I decided to bring those out from our bedroom, and then we have the ghost I got from Wax Moon Shop. This came in the nick of time. I got it yesterday, and yesterday was December 22nd, so I barely got here in time. It had been running back and forth. I don't know where. <laughs> and here is my couch. I have my two pillows from Hobby Lobby that I got during Halloween time. Then I have this newer one, which is Snowflakes. I think it's really cute, and I like how it looks there. I wasn't really sure what to put on this side. I just used a red pillow from my Harry Potter room. So behind these two pillows here, this fuzzy black blanket I got from Home Goods this year. Then this is the chair that I'm surprised Edgar is not sitting in right now. Because he has not left this chair in about a week since I built it. Um, on this chair, that I'll talk about in a later video, and all about how long it took me to find a chair for this living room, I put on this Ikea pillow and pillowcase. This is the deer one. So along with the chair and that pillow from Ikea, I have this ottoman. The ottoman is actually teal, so I've been meaning to do a DIY with it at some point. But for now, I actually had a black sheepskin rug I normally keep there. I decided to throw on the ottoman just to help give that Nordic look, which I feel like always looks really homey. Then I actually decided not to do anything with this guy. I didn't have enough decorations to decorate this for Christmas, so I looked at how it is, and um, I watched Wolf of Wall Street last night, so just ignore that. <laughs> Moving from the living room, we are going to move into the dining room. So here's how the dining room is decorated. Let me bring you up close to the table so you can see how I did this. So I left this pretty much how I normally have it, but I added a couple of nice Christmassy touches. So obviously I added in this garland. It's supposed to be like a weeping willow type branchy situation. Then I placed these ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby and the branches just to give it some more Christmassy touch and give it a little bit of a darker edge than if I just left it the green color. And then I also added this fake snow that I got from Target just to do something on top of this spider web cake stand. Moving over here, so here's what the back corner of the dining room looks like. Let's take a closer look at this Christmas tree over here. So this is my second goth mystery that I have. Honestly, my goal in life is to have a Christmas tree in every single room with different theming. I think that would be just so much fun. So obviously it's on my vampire tree. This one is a purple, white, and black goth moose tree, I like to call it. So just any ornaments that are black, purple, or white go on this tree. So this is just a white tree, and I strung on purple lights. For some reason, they come off kind of pink on the tree. They are definitely a red-based purple, that's for sure. So then to go on this white Christmas tree, I didn't put on any garland this year. I actually just tried to go really heavy-handed on the ornaments and these bows that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I really like how it turned out. Then for the tree topper on this tree, I have this cute bow from the Dollar Tree. I have this bat made out of black burlap that I made a really, really long time ago. I think it was like 2017 is when I made it. Then I decided to stick one of these branchy twigs that I got from Michael's this year at the top. And I have flowing down two different kinds of ribbon. One is this black and white stripe ribbon, and then there's also this black tool with black glitter throughout it. Then I actually decided to decorate this shelf behind the tree. It looked weird with the shelf being gone because there were just screws sticking out of the wall. So I decided to decorate this shelf in a kind of more minimal way. So I have my second card that I was talking to you guys about earlier. This one is bad at decorating a tree. Then if you went with me Halloween decor hunting, you would have remembered me buying this tree. But I decided to put it here. The only problem is I could not get it to light. Light on one side. That's how I decorated this little corner behind the tree. And then below the tree, I just have two different presents. These were the only two gifts that I wrapped in purple, so I stuck them underneath this tree. 
hopefully I don't forget about them in this corner when we open up presents in a few days because that would just be really sad if someone forgot their present down here. And then to act as a tree skirt because this corner is pretty small, I just grabbed some fabric that I had lying around and then kind of tucked it underneath the feet so that way they would be hidden. Then here's how I decorated my Ikea stand that we store all our food in. I'm not really loving how I decorated it. It just looks kind of like three separate pieces stuck together, but I don't really know how else to do it. So maybe next year I'll have a better chance to decorate this how maybe I would have liked to. Let's start over here. So starting with this corner, I have my snowflake tree that I got from Home Goods. I love this thing. I can't wait to show you guys this at night when the lights are off. It just reflects out of the tree. Really, really cool. Then in front of it, I have my black velvet little reindeer lying down. Then in the middle is my boyfriend's alcohol section. So I got him this beer stein. It's a really early Christmas present this year. And then he has some other fun items there. <laughs> this is where I stuck my little gingerbread village. I think it's really cute. I just put it underneath this lamp. I didn't really know where else to put it. So it ended up here. Now turning to the kitchen. Look who's on the chair now. The last place I have to show you guys is the kitchen. Then we are done with me showing you around how I decorated for Christmas this year, or as I like to call it, Gothmas. So starting over in this corner, the only thing I added was this cute gingerbread jar that I got this year from Home Goods. Over here, there's nothing new, so I'll move on to my little coffee bar area. So here is what my little coffee bar area looks like. The only thing missing is something for that shelf right there. Fortunately, I didn't have anything small enough to fit there, so it'll just be an empty, awkward shelf for right now. But moving down to the mugs. So these mugs aren't exactly gothy, but they do make me really happy because they're little cats playing around during Christmas time. I think they are just really, really cute. And I decided to put them directly next to the little coffee Keurig machine we have. Then hanging on the mug rack. Why does that sound weird? Mug rack. Mug rack. Rug rat. It sounds like rug rat. <laughs> Being on the mug rack, we have a variety of Christmassy mugs. Uh, the only one that kind of doesn't really fit is this one over here. I didn't have a small enough Christmas mug to fit there. So the first mug I'll show you on here is actually a Nightmare Before Christmas mug. This is the mayor and it has both sides of its face on either side of the mug I got from Disney this year. Then I have my snowflake mug and then down here is my other snowflake mug. I got both of these from World Market. They're probably my favorite mugs I have for the Christmas season now. Then over in this corner is another World Market mug. But this one was kind of like a teacup and it just has some green florals all around it. And then apparently I love World Market mugs, but here's another World Market mug. Uh, this one is people skiing on a mountain. And I just really liked the style that they did this in. It's kind of more minimal. And it looks like someone hand painted and handmade this mug, even though I'm pretty sure no one did. But I like how it looks like it's not what it did. Then from this angle, you can't really see the last mug back there, but it is my ghost mug I got from Target. I thought it was appropriate to put him on here because, as we all know, a Christmas carol, there is the ghost of Christmas past, and so a ghost mug seemed appropriate for Christmas. I think it looks pretty good together. A little bit cluttered, but hey, if anyone comes over, I got plenty of mug choices for them, that's for sure. And the last area I have decorated in my kitchen is actually over here. So I decided to decorate this little corner of my kitchen. So I bought this spiderweb tree from the Victorian Trading Post. And then on it, I decided to decorate it. I decided to put some black ornament bulbs that I got from Hobby Lobby. All the extra ones basically I had. And then I found these glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth. So I thought they would just add something extra. And then at the top, I made this little bow. I think it looks really, really cute. And it just adds a tree to the kitchen because you know my goal is to put a tree in every room. So now that we've seen my entire apartment, or at least the parts that are decorated, I'll go ahead and show you what everything looks like at night.
really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated my apartment for Christmas or Gothmas as I like to call it. I want to say really fast at the end of this video that I actually want to do a small business shout out video but I wanted to do small YouTubers. So if you are a small YouTuber and you want me to check out your video to possibly shout you out in my small business shout out video, please leave your YouTube channel down below. So if I don't feature your channel in that video, please do not take offense to it. It's not because you create bad content or anything like that. It's just I am looking for particular requirements, mainly consistent uploading and if you have less than 25,000 subscribers. So again, if you want to shout out your channel or if you know a channel that you would think deserves some more recognition, please let me know down below. Hope you guys are having a very merry creepmas and I will see you in my next video, which may be next week. However, I might take next week off. We shall see. So until then, happy new year. Merry Christmas. Bye.